What's going on everybody? My name is Tenebris Infinite and I am coming at you guys with a little bit of an update and information video about the future of Generation Zero and a little bit of news that the Generation Zero team happened to drop today. So we're going to start reading this kind of from the top here. So they started with Welcome again to another weekly check-in. Last week we gave you a little advanced preview of just a handful of the bugs that we are fixing in our upcoming patch. As of now it looks to be around 200 fixes and improvements. And today we are pleased to announce that we have a more concrete idea of when we can expect that patch to land. As of now and subject to further testing, we are aiming for our first major bug fixing patch to arrive next week. So let's kind of dissect that a little bit here, guys. So I'm just going to have the small list of bugs that they had noticed in their last week's post come up on the screen now. But 200 fixes and improvements is a lot. This team has probably been working on this since the absolute get-go from all of the community feedback that we've been giving to the dev team through the forums and through the Reddit posts, which have been incredibly active since this game started. I've I've got to say, it's actually maybe one of the most active communities that I've taken part in, at least. So as they say in their post, uh, it's subject to further testing, but they're aiming to bring their first major bug fixing patch out next week. So we hopefully will see it sometime in the middle of next week, I think would be a healthy expectation, as they're saying it's subject to further testing, so there might be a potential for it to get pushed back. I think that if they have to push it back, uh, that's only a good thing. Because that means that then they're going to be putting out a more uh, finalized bug fix. Next up, they say, Although the upcoming patch is mostly targeting bug-related issues, we were able to do some smaller adjustments. We say smaller in terms of development needed for us to implement them, as they should have a big impact on how you experience the game. After the update, you can expect to see that reviving now feels a lot more meaningful. Adrenaline shot items should now consume on use, and you'll need to use one each time you resurrect a teammate or yourself. And additionally, the drop rate of these items has been lowered somewhat. The second change consists of many smaller improvements to the way machines work. They should start to feel more challenging post-patch. So, <laughs> let's kind of unload this one, too. So, uh, I think it's really good that they're working on the adrenaline shot revival aspect of this game, because it sometimes does feel like you can just over-prepare for a situation and just be invincible throughout it all because you're constantly reviving. So, I'm excited to see how they're going to balance that out. And then also, uh, having some smaller improvements to the way machines work... Uh, is, is actually really, really necessary. There's a lot of times where you can kind of cheese the enemies and kind of fool the AI into turning around or showing their weak spots really, really easily in this game. So I'm excited to see them make the AI a little bit more intelligent. And hopefully alongside them doing that, they can smooth out a few of the issues we've seen with enemies teleporting through walls. We won't be able to actually know what they've done to the enemies and how they've improved them until the patch drops, though. Alright, so for their closing statement, they say, Again, this patch is primarily focused on bug fixing, so we aren't by any means done with adjustments and fine-tuning. Expect a steady flow of improvements as we continue live development. And then they wish us all a great weekend and that we should uh, be enjoying the new update next week. So in finalization... Uh, it, this is all fantastic news to hear from the Generation Zero dev team. I'm really excited to see what they do with this patch and how they plan on improving the game and fixing the game in the near future. But for now, it's great to see them just finalizing the base game and making it a well-crafted experience. So when the patch drops, either next week or whenever it drops, you guys can expect me to put out a video covering all of the patch details and all of the fixes on all consoles and all versions. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this quick little information and update video about Generation Zero. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.